I'm a little disappointed. So I feel like I'm in the shadows over here. Yeah. <laughs> and then I have to like stay over. Oh. oh, sweet mother of pearl. I'm just disappointed my camo cargo shorts aren't in frame right now. These are a real. My nose is running out. I need to get tissue. Real work of art. Um, what are we doing? Are you serious right now? There's no snot on there. I was just kidding. Unique New York. Unique New York. Unique New York. Just stretching out the mouth muscles. You're yeah. the snapping jaw. You're like a snapping turtle. Welcome to this month's Q&A. We started doing this last month where now that we have comments back, we just go back through the last, uh, the last few videos and answer questions that are in the comments and just kind of respond to some things that are in the comments. Um, yeah, just so we all stay on the same page. So we're gonna start with the first video is, uh, this was not in the plans. The top comment on that video was uh, from Leanne. It said, Lottie needs her own Instagram. She's hilarious. She's taken over the, the farm, the farm gram page for sure i mean well but we need to incorporate the other animals there but we yeah, do we have do. a farm instagram if you guys That's want right. to follow it it's fairhaven farms i'll link it down below um but yeah there's a lot she's there's a lot of lottie there, yeah. there. she well, she's probably the most entertaining on the farm for sure for well, of, of yeah. the animals because she's out getting into stuff all yeah. the time everybody else is kind of in their spot she's the only one who breaks out and the world is her oyster. I think I speak for all of us when I say we want to see more, much more of Grand Nana. We haven't seen her for so long and we love her. Um, yeah, she she doesn't love being on camera. She will do it if we ask her to, if we ask her to do something, but she will run when the camera comes around. She just, it's not her thing to be on camera. It's not a lot of no. people's thing. She's very, um... I don't know if granola is the right term or not, but she would much rather be just kind of outside away from all the technology stuff. She she really yeah. doesn't like technology at all, which is, yeah. we, we often laugh about it. So either way, um, when she comes to visit, you know, she enjoys hanging out with the kids and going to the parks and stuff like that. And if we have a camera and we're filming, it doesn't necessarily bother her, but right. she's not gonna make any excuse to jump in right. the frame and and I'm not going to go out yourself. of my way to film her and show her just because right. I know it makes her uncomfortable. And I, I I don't know if that comment was on this video or a different one or if I'll even see it today. But um, I have been asked a couple of times about why you guys don't see more of my parents. And mm. it's a very similar story mm. where it's kind of twofold. One, they don't really necessarily love being on camera. Um, and two, I get very protective because after so many years now, I know like what to expect. I know I said this, people are gonna say that. I did this, people are gonna say that. I've seen the depths of the internet. Yes, I mean, and, and you know, we are very lucky that 99.9% .9 of our comments and engagement, stuff like that are, are kind or, you know, at least not mean spirited but there is a mean, a very mean portion and I just get so protective over my family and friends and just don't want other people to say anything bad about them because if they were to read that or whatever, thems is like fighting woods, you know? <laughs> and then I'm like, let's go, you know? Um, so with that said, I just, I don't show them a ton though I think they would be open, my parents mm -hmm. would be open to being in videos more and talking more. Topical more. Yeah, like topical stuff. Yeah, stuff. For sure. Not just, not just filming what's going on on the farm all the time. I mean, you did a great homeschool video with your mom. I don't remember what That was on our private was, group. Yeah, yeah, and that, was, that got a awesome, just an awesome response. I mean, it was so yeah. valuable. Her outlook on that kind of stuff is truly second to none. Um, but to your point, I think something uh, very topical, like if I were to sit down and do, film a video with your dad about fishing, dude, he'd be all in. Right. Next comment, one cow would be lonely. You need a small herd and they actually like walking around foresty areas so you don't have to clear all of the land. Um, so just to be super clear, the comments about getting a cow or whatnot, um, that's a long ways away. Uh, we, you know, we know that cows are herd animals and we wouldn't just buy one singular cow. And obviously the cow has to have either just had a calf or is pregnant with a calf and going to give birth before you're going to get any milk out of said mm -hmm. cow. So we wouldn't have one cow anyways, but we just don't have a spot for it. So just 
just to respond to that, like, yeah, I mean, that's part of the reason we have as many animals as we do is because, you know, we care about our animals' be happiness, and if they are herd animals or pack animals or flock animals, we want to make sure that they have... They have um, buddies. Yeah, that they have what they have makes friends. them happy in life, not just us, you know? Um, Maddie said, I just started thinking, I'd be worried about Lottie getting out and leaving overnight. I know she probably is no trouble at night, but I'd be paranoid. I would definitely uh, buy Fairhaven merch. So we were worried about that too for yeah. a while. But the thing is, is she goes to bed at night. She goes at dinner time. She goes back in with everybody sleeps and in sleeps in there. She doesn't come out in the morning until she sees us come out in the morning. That's right. Um, and she doesn't even leave the top of our driveway. So our driveway is pretty long and she might, if you go down to feed, she might follow you down to feed and follow you back, but she doesn't wander, like wander down the, the road that far at all. Like she stays by the house because really the reason she's out is she's looking for people. She's people looking for food. people she, and she, she, she knows the feeding routines for the horses. And so, so she can go empty their buckets. <laughs> so when either the girls or the boys or you or your, your parents are feeding horses and kind of walking down and feeding the buckets, she might wander down there and see if she can clean up some scraps or she'll just hang outside the tack room and wait for the bucket to be open. Like it's it's food motivated, but yeah, we're not worried about it right now with her putting herself in a dangerous situation with regards to getting out of the barnyard. Plus there's Aslan who he'll, he'll round her Takes up. His job like seriously. if he thinks she's wandering too far down the driveway and like we spot her or he spots her, um, he'll round her up and send her back to the barnyard. So yeah. yeah. That doesn't take away from the fact that we, we want to look for a solution to keep her in the barnyard right. when we need her to be in there. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, she's she's safe. She doesn't she doesn't wander too far. Uh, at 2.32 timestamp, that nail tool thingy that CR is using, can you show what it is? Seems super handy for the homesteader. I thought all these things needed a compressor. Oh, this was the vlog from when the land clearing people were here. Okay, so... Hold it up, maybe uh, show the peeps. I'll insert the clip in okay. the video. I don't want to. This is them. this is probably this was one of the first tools that we bought when we moved onto the farm and decided that we were going to be doing a lot of fence repair work. Um, it's a pneumatic nail gun, and it doesn't require a compressor. It comes with these little, or you have to purchase these little like gas cartridges, basically, um, that you slide in the gun, and that operates as kind of the fuel source or the air compressor. Um, inside the gun and so it, it's not I would say it's a relatively it's not an inexpensive tool but it has paid for itself in practicality yeah in practicality and utility I've used it I mean we've used it on just about everything um, that we've constructed here and so it's such a huge time saver um, it's definitely worth it if you live on a on a farm or a homestead and have a lot of and you're building a lot of stuff. Somebody said CR needs merch that says "Going Ham." <laughs> Apparently, we can you make say that, that a lot. Do I? I don't All know. Right. You say a lot of like. One, listen, I mean, we both do. So I'm not like this we, is the pot calling the kettle black here. You know. I will pull out some one-liners that are rooted in baseballisms or like baseball terminology that. Sometimes she has I never think heard you're making of. Up. Right. I can't remember. We got in a huge discussion about one in particular. Um, oh, it was it got banged. You remember that? No, you told you told one of our kids or me to just bang it. And I was like <laughs> <laughs> Just bang it. it <laughs> it's a, that's a baseball term. When for instance, a game gets canceled or the back end of a doubleheader, maybe it's because of rain, it got it got canceled. It got banged. It got it got canceled. <laughs> no other term. What other term to use? And are you pretending to fall asleep as I explain this right now? Yep. All right, I'm about to bang this video right now. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> See, anyways, it sounds. It's, it's it doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right. When I you're feel like in your dirty mind, it might not. In a, in this baseball head of mine, that sounded wrong. <sighs> it's a baseball term. All right, got canceled. Head got is banged. More just banged. Rectangle. Get rid of not so much a circle, definitely well, more of a right. rectangle. It got banged. Just wondering how many phrases you say these days that you didn't imagine yourself saying a few years ago. Quote, they're gonna knock the goat off. <laughs> For a multitude of reasons, um, a ton because of that facet. And then just the fact that I make up words often. I say well, a lot that's of things true. that- What did you I say don't. at our anniversary dinner? What were you saying you were trying to say? I, I don't know. 
I was, I'm so tired of you not. You added a T. <laughs> oh, a, he said something about not being a contessor. And I was like, a connoisseur? And he was like, no, a contessor. And I'm like, yeah, there's no T in that word, a contessor. <laughs> I took that to another place that we won't talk about on campus. And then he got in trouble. But point being, Sometimes, I just I need the right word sometimes. You guys think I have dictionaries out and stuff because we're homeschoolers and I'm trying to teach my kids. Yeah, I Other don't, I don't dabble in the vocab lessons <laughs> often. The next video was about uh, starting our food storage where we went and got our uh -huh. first Azure Standard order. So then, let's see the top comment. No hate whatsoever, but I find it so funny when Americans call all types of pasta noodles. Do any non-US viewers know what I mean? Noodles to us are Japanese noodles, ramen, etc. For shapes of pasta, we would just say their name, penne, spaghetti. Um, also good for you for making plans to protect your family if necessary, better safe than sorry. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's an American thing, a Southern thing, an Angie and CR thing. We call them noodles, and then if it's necessary to then, Specify then we'll the say shape. spaghetti or whatever. Yeah. And also because we know what we make with them, then sometimes we might just say we're going to have carbonara tonight. And both of us know what noodles go in carbonara. Mm -hmm. See, I did it again. Yeah. What noodles? Yeah. I think it's but, one of those things kind of like soda, pop, Coke. It's kinda definitely where, where not you're pop. At. It's definitely not pop. No, it's, it's soda. Not pop. And I think you called it Coke. I call, in the South, in the they, South call they call Coke, everything Coke. Which is weird. Um, you know, I'm going to get a Coke. I'm going to get a Coke. Do you want yeah. a Coke? And that could be a Sprite. That could be a Dr. What Pepper. Kind of Coke? Uh, yeah, Coke. What kind of Coke? Give me a Coke Coke. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've always called it soda. Yeah. I, when do, I, I don't call it soda pop or pop. It's soda. When I moved from Southern California to the Pacific Northwest, everyone calls it pop up there. And I was ready to go fisticuffs with some people because You're I just. You go ham? I was going to go ham on the next person that called it pop. I would, they say it like that too. It's like it's pop, and then I'm sure there's some people watching this video who say that's pop. A, that's okay. I think it's a Midwest thing too. Actually, it's kind of regional. So I don't know. All right, it's lots and lots and lots of comments about the store up when I talked about storing food in our garage about it not being an appropriate place, the humidity, the temperature, mm -hmm. all of that. And I, I always, you know, I feel like I say things and repeat the same things over and over again and then crap gets really long. But I guess I wasn't specific enough to say that like, yes, we know that we can't just throw all this stuff in our garage and it will go moldy and stuff like that. So uh, we are building out a sort of cold room storage area right. in the garage. Um, so it will be temperature controlled. It won't be like a full freezer or anything like that, but it, it will be, it will work to keep humidity down, temperature mm -hmm. low enough to store food in there. Yeah, I think what, what I think people, well, oh, I and guess the, we don't really go into, in, in real life, the, the domino effect of what's happening here on the farm is very um, it, bottleneck sometimes. Mm -hmm. And we have to wait for certain things to happen before we can do certain other things. I think when this video was filmed, the garage didn't have electricity. Right. Right. It so it, and it, to be honest, it's still, it's only partial. It's only partial. Like we just had a new meter put up a new, a new uh, way to get a separate meter put in for the garage <coughs> in order to do what we want to do on the farm. And, um, unfortunately that just didn't happen by the time we got this yeah. first order of food. So that so being the order said, of events is we know, we know that there needs to be, it needs to be a climate controlled space. I'm going to frame in a wall. We're going to put an air conditioner and a dehumidifier, all the things, um, mm -hmm. but just also, in a good time. Lots of people had questions about, or comments about uh, critters getting into them. Mm -hmm. And the, again, the good news is, is that we do have lots of um, animals that free roam on our property that tend to keep a lot of critters away. Um, Aslan, obviously, and then my parents brought their barn cat. So River the barn cat is my parents' cat, but I'm River okay. keeps away most of the mice, um, and we I, we haven't seen any kind of like rats or Dude, anything I haven't like seen that. A, but I haven't seen a mouse out here yet, I'll be honest. All I've seen so Actually, far I, I take is- Actually, I've seen a, one dead one. Yeah, I've seen one dead mouse, one dead squirrel, and then that random raccoon strolling through our yard mm -hmm. the other day. I've seen some deer here Like also. it was on its way to high tea. That was crazy. Just strutting through our front yard just in the middle of the day. Just didn't give a rip about yep, anything. Yeah, just like, I'm a raccoon, I'm here. You saw it, I didn't see it. Was he, was he big? She big? She, I don't know if it was a he or she. I don't know uh -huh. if there's a way to tell without yeah, lifting you, you, the tail. You count the rings of the tail. Males have seven, females have eight rings. 
I totally made that up. But some of you thought it was true. Nobody believed you. No, somebody no one believed somebody, the Nobody internet was, was a going, ah, oh, CR knows everything about raccoons. You, somebody had Google pulled up. If that was you, <laughs> no, just be honest. No, Leave no. a comment down below. Let right. me know if you were going to Google <laughs> how many rings are on a male raccoon. Yeah, I'm trying to skip through tail. all the comments about the food story. Oh, fun. see, someone says, oh my goodness, I used that joke more nervous than a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs in a monologue in theater 10 years ago. My character was Sue Ellen Johnson. <laughs> LOL. Memories. That's right. This was when we were in the car. Mm -hmm. I remember that. And you used that. I had already forgotten about the phrase. Someone else said, Angie, go to Food Lion or anywhere with an in-house cake area and ask them for their icing buckets. You'll have to clean them out, but you can get food grade buckets for free. That's a great idea. Yeah, I read that one. Um, that's that's brilliant, actually. Someone said, Faith Family Homestead said, girl, you said sweating like a hooker in church and I about <laughs> died. <laughs> eh, sorry. And then the next video was all good things must come to an end about oh. Grand Nana um, leaving. So this one, I mentioned in the beginning that I didn't, um, we didn't vlog the kids' birthdays uh, because, you know, we have said for a year now basically that we're not we're not showing them as much um, in videos and it's interesting because we've talked about that for actually a long time so the top comment is from Lily it says not gonna lie I kind of miss seeing the kids in the vlogs but ultimately I think you made the right decision for them to protect their privacy after see after all you and CR chose this career your kids didn't and they deserve to grow up without a thousand people watching them this gives them uh, and you the room to share about other things, whatever that might be. I still enjoy your animal content, although I miss the family stuff a bit, but you could honestly show me your grocery list and I would listen. Uh, <laughs> and nice. you know, I think what we wanna make sure that we're making clear is that we are not removing our children from our channel completely. Uh, we're not saying that you're never gonna see them, you're never you know, gonna know anything mm -hmm. about them or anything like that. It's always been our policy to not force filming our children, but unfortunately, you know, when you make that decision, that also means that whichever kids are near you all the time when you're filming or doing something or whatever are the ones that you see. And because we have eight children and those of some people who've been watching for a long time, everybody, you know, and I understand, but they kind of have like their favorite kid. And so then it's like, well, I haven't seen so-and-so. And what about, I mean, it even happens with the animals. Well, I haven't seen the little brown dog. Where's the brown dog? And it's yeah. like, we have so many, I mean, we have so many animals, it's <laughs> but funny. we also have eight children and we don't force them to be on camera. And we never, we never have, we never will. I, I'm but we have in this, the past, I know. Honest. Person understands and it's, ob it's quite obvious that there's intent behind what we're trying to film. Our lives look completely different than they did one, two, three, four, five, six years ago, mm -hmm. however long we've been doing this now. We spend so much time on this farm hanging out with the animals, taking care of thing, projects needed for the farm. Um, that's just what our lives look like now. Mm -hmm. As I'm thinking back through the last several years, when we lived in a neighborhood and we were we were traveling with the kids, like we're in a different phase. It's a different season, and it looks completely different. And that's going to be for some people, and it's not going to be for others, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. It's not an indictment on, um, I think, what our channel is supposed to be about because we. Well, our channel that. isn't supposed to be about anything. It's about, and we've said this for a long time. We are just sharing our lives and what is going on in our lives. We Plain refuse right. to live our lives for YouTube. We refuse to go and do things just so we can create content and have something to show or to chase our kids around and say, and try to you know fabricate some situation out of nowhere to be able to include them right. in a video or have them in a video. We don't live our lives for YouTube. We share on YouTube what's happening in our lives. Hmm. And so if that's not exciting to to you, if that's not interesting to you, um, that's okay. We can't... We, <laughs> not everything we, we do is exciting. <laughs> yeah, most things we do are not exciting and we could yeah. never please everybody. And the only reason I've been able to do this for so long now, the only reason we've been able to create videos for so long now is because 
We're not faking who we are. We're not faking our lives. Imagine how hard that would be to keep up mm. with. And I, I just, I can't do that. I can't do that. So that's how we've been able to continue to make videos for so long is by just genuinely sharing what's going on in our lives. When we started this channel, we were in the throes of growing our family. We were adopting, we were, you know, I was still running a photography. I mean, we were, uh -huh. our lives were just so different than right. they are now. And so people change, they evolve and you know, either that's you evolve with them and you enjoy watching the process or you don't. And that's OK, too. So I don't I certainly don't begrudge anybody who's like, look, I was only here because I liked seeing the, you know, cute kids or whatever. And you guys don't show them as much as I want you to. So I'm out. That's totally fine. I just wanted to be clear that we're not removing, this isn't like us waving the white flag and saying like we're removing and never showing our kids anymore, anything like that. It's just us saying, you know, we're not forcing that, we're not focusing on that. Um, and we want to filming. protect our children. Cool. And you know, I used to tell my photography clients this, if you hmm. see something in the contract that you're like, why would she put that in the contract? That seems strange. Understand it's because someone has done that before. Mm. You know, if you think like, why would she put this weird clause in there? It's because someone has done that before. And so what we hope, because we don't get on here and talk about all of the back end of things and all the bad stuff that happens by doing what we do and sharing our family and stuff, but just know that the protections we put in place for our children are for a good reason. and. Um, people have absolutely violated our family, especially since we moved. And there's been things that have happened that we've not talked about at all. And we will continue to make the decisions that we feel are in the best interest of our children, ultimately. So that's, that's all we can do because we have to answer to them at the end of the day about why we chose to share what we did. Yeah, I don't have to answer to anybody else, you know, but them. Stacy said, wow, those those cakes are amazing. Once all the kids are older, it could become a business. That's very sweet. Dude, you I really definitely those cakes. No, I promise. I, I think okay. that's very sweet. But if you've ever actually seen a professional baker and the cakes they make, it's mm -hmm. mine doesn't come close. Okay. And I've learned in the last 10 years that when you take something you enjoy doing as a hobby and then make it into a business, it can suck all the joy and fun out of it oh, for you. Yeah. So I definitely would not ever want to have a cake decorating business because then I would eventually not want to make cakes for my own children because I would hate it. Uh, I need to sit with better posture. Let's talk Here in me. Brazil, we all come out of the hospital with our ears pierced. I wow. love to learn how we all do things differently around the world because I was talking about Rosie that. getting okay. her ears pierced for her birthday. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know she was culturally and that. stuff like that. There's there's lots of different um, cultures that pierce ears and stuff like that for huh. different reasons, and it's fascinating. Come out of the hospital. That's crazy. Coming in, hot. not crazy, beow, but you know beow, what I mean. Beow, beow. Yeah. I never saw this comment before. Joanna Garcia says, in, in reference to the ducks, the female ducks, those ladies deserve two hot Latin lovers. LOL. You should definitely change their names to Juan and Fernando. <laughs> Plus, he's not going to get any action with a name like Juniper. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Um, yeah. All right. I hear you. Okay. I'm ready to see some house projects. They are my favorite because I was talking about the playroom. Dude. That video is going to be up soon, and we've got more home projects to come. You killed the playroom. Like, I'm going to set the stage for you a little bit because it, oh. has, it has very quickly turned into everyone's favorite space in the house like you nailed it so we I'm all excited. hang out in I'm there excited. every yeah. morning it's nice we love it it's it's 95 percent done so and, and yes to, to kind of comment on that comment a lot of the external stuff is just kind of wrapping up i think with the exception of <laughs> nothing gonna lie <laughs> greenhouse duck run finishing out the garage painting and then, all the buildings yeah, painting buildings some the additional fence stuff, work the barn the we're dump. almost there but turning the attention inside is going to be fun there goes Aslan and he's chasing Lottie did I tell you the other day I saw him chase her and he was doing it for no reason but for his own fun yeah. and I was like Aslan stop and then he went to like turn and cut 
on that like little lump Did next to the tree and he tumbled over yeah. on his back and he was like eh. yeah, and it was yeah, just I actually spot. felt bad for him because I felt like he was embarrassed like he got up and walked away like it's not the sharpest tool in the shed no he's but really he not. gets an E for effort all right let's go ahead and move on to the next video this one is when the whole family gets taken down because we all got sick mm. let's just we did not have COVID. We got COVID tested. We did not have COVID. <laughs> so, um, you know, there was a lot of those comments like, please get tested for COVID. <clears throat> and what's interesting is, I didn't think that we did, but we went ahead and got tested anyways. But our family gets a summer, usually like a late spring or summer cold, sometimes even flu, every year it's just our family doesn't typically get very sick in the winter mm -hmm. it's we get summer colds yeah, and flus it's very bizarre and the same thing happened almost exactly the same time last year if y'all remember when we were in the process of moving oh, we all got sick the last like day or two when we were moving and then when we were in charleston for a couple days yeah. we were all sick and remember i pinched a nerve in my neck and couldn't turn my head i'm pretty sure i i kind of put a mental block around that 30 day period. Like after we got You've back. forgotten too much. I, I, I think I purposely did that for myself because that was one of the hardest months ever. Yeah, and like we that never. Was, that was hard. We never talked about it. Like, because we kept saying in videos, we couldn't at the time because we were in negotiations and dealing with all this stuff with the yeah. buyers and everything. Like we couldn't talk about it, but I was this close to blasting the buyer's realtor, the guy who mm. was their realtor yeah. on social media. I don't use my social media that way. I don't go, well, look, I have so many followers, so I'm gonna blast companies and make them give me stuff or yeah, do no. stuff or call people out who've not That's done not a good fun. job. I was ready to blow this man to the moon. I was so irritated with him. He made me so mad. Yeah. And it's hard to make me that mad. I'm pretty forgiving of people. Non-confrontational as well. And so oh, I think- Oh, well, I sat across from him at the closing, like, I will still with this pen. <laughs> That's assault, brother. Anyways, that was a hard Ooh, month. Like, Everyone's sick. I have like the We're tingles now. Think about how mad I was. Trying to sell our house and finish things up needed to sell the house and then plan for moving down like yeah, down here. Yeah, it was crazy. And and then our closing <sighs> here, remember, it was like, you can close, but you can't move in. Yeah. So remember, was, yeah, two yeah, days before we were supposed to move, it was, schedule. you can close, but you can't move in. So that was a, that was and a. we were like, that's not how that works. It was crazy. Was it was crazy. So many things happened. Maybe one of these days we'll, we'll do like a, a, a live, like a wine chat or something. We'll do it like curtain. a live and we could t t oh, tell all those stories. Uh, my biggest problem is I don't want to film it and then edit it. I don't want to <laughs> hear it twice. <laughs> I don't need to do it again. Anyways, all right, top comment on this video, because we haven't even answered that oh, yet, wow. is uh, from Every Shade. Don't worry about the vlogs being boring. I'm here for the everyday boring stuff. It really gives me comfort in a way to be able to log off on my own life for a few moments to see how others live. Hmm. I won't go into too many personal details, but due to illness, I am at this time myself not able to just have a boring, normal life. Boring is wonderful. Hmm. I thought that comment was sweet. Um, sweet and also very, very true. The times in our life where things were not boring were typically because they were hectic and crazy and mm -hmm. all of that. But I think sometimes, you know, boring is probably the wrong adjective to use there. But, you know, I think Maybe, I see um, sometimes what people, other people are doing and yeah. sharing and everything looks like mm -hmm. so exciting all the time. And I'm like, yeah, well, sure. we, I don't want to say we've been there and done that. I mean, we hopped in the RV and did all that stuff. Like, yeah. We're, again, different season, different yeah. phase of life right now where we're building up a, a, a new kind of family farm that we're yeah. trying to get going. And our days are very, um, they're not scheduled, but they're very routine to a certain mm -hmm. extent. I've often wondered what you do when you're sick and just don't feel like tending to the animals or garden. I suppose you do it anyways. Take care of yourself and your vlogs are never boring. Yeah, so that's the fun part, right? Hashtag no days off. Yeah, there's no... <laughs> <laughs> Bring in the double. Um, yeah, no. They're, cool. Yeah, there's. Here's the reality. Like your folks live down the road. If something were to happen where you were incapacitated and you couldn't get out of bed because you were puking your guts out, your mom and dad would certainly step up and help. Um, there have been times in the past where, like, when you were super pregnant with the twins, my mom came out and helped. Like we have some backups, but when it comes to just 
colds or the sniffles mm -hmm. or um, a couple of the kids being down, like we will prioritize their health and our health over certain things. Um, mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, the train needs to get back on the tracks. And I feel like this eye is closing. Heather Butler said, I just want to say that a major the majority of us, if not all, would sit and watch you watch paint dry. That's very sweet. <laughs> that is very boring. <laughs> I would not. CR, I would CR's not like, be listen, you guys that. don't know her well enough. She's horribly boring. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> And uh, you think you would want to hang out with her, but you wouldn't. <laughs> the what did I tell introvert? you the other day after you got back from fishing? When you were I like don't worried that fishing all day was like, oh, Angie doesn't want me to go fishing all day. She doesn't want me to be gone. Oh. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> what did I tell you? I don't want to hurt your feelings, but there are times where I want you out of the house <laughs> for as long as possible. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember, you know, back when he was working full time and I was home with the, you know, raising the kids and homeschooling and doing all the things. It was like, if he would call me and say, I'm going to go out to, to dinner with some of my work friends, I would be like, okay. And then I'd hang up the phone and I could and hear her cry. twitching on the other side of the line. <laughs> and now I'm like, do you want to go do something? Do you want to go fishing? Do you want to go hang out with your friends? Do you have something to do? Don't you want to leave for a little while? Get out. <laughs> I think that's uh, that's it's fair to assume Distance that most makes the heart grow most marriages are <laughs> so go away. Let's get on to the last video, which is a happy mistake. That was a really good thumbnail on that last one. And it got the is this my birth terrible story? views. <laughs> this Nobody watched it. Did it really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's happy. It's Why I would said, they? Because I said happy in the in the Brittany Young. This comment says, uh, this looks like the top comment. Can we talk about the inclusion crossover between your family and pets? I love how you said we have three kinds of chickens in there, so they are used to seeing ones that look different. I just think it's kind of cute oh, and a rollover of how you fun. guys run your whole household. You're an awesome example of love and inclusion. Very nice. Um, Thank you. That's a very nice comment. That was sweet. I <laughs> I have to see if, if I don't come to it in when I'm, oh no, it's right here. This is one of my favorite questions. Okay. okay. And I'm going to see what your answer is. I hate these in, uh, in prompt two. Lorraine said, philosophical question. Okay. How does a chicken know what they look like to know that another chicken is different from them? How do they know they aren't all silkies? That'd be something scent related. That's just a guess. I, I don't know the answer to the question. Yeah, I don't either. And I, I read that question and I went, hmm, huh. huh, you know, I don't know. I don't know how they know, but they know. They know. And I don't know how, but they do. I think it's the scent, uh, maybe. That's, that's, that would, if I were to put my eggs in a basket, you see what I did there? It would be scent related. Okay, well, we could also Google it probably and get the actual answer. You could do that. Okie dokie. The chickens dashing out of the hen house was funny. I love listening to them talking. Angie, have you read the children's book, Giggle Giggle Quack? It's so cute and your younger ones would enjoy it. Duck is quite the character. He's a Lottie type. Someday in your spare time, you and CR should create a children's book starring Lottie. So no, I have not read that book, but I'm gonna look for it. <clears throat> and secondly, that is, we have a list of things, like we told you guys before, like there's some farm related merch that we wanna create, some Lottie stuff and some of the other animals. Um, and we are still working on our family cookbook and the we podcast also, and well, the podcast we're not currently working on, but, but it's, it's in, up, it's, it's up it's in there. orbit of all the things. That and we as well do. is a children's book series yeah. that would kind of be Fairhaven Farms based on the different animals. And I love that because we've got the nurse mare foals that the orphan foals basically is what mm -hmm. they're called. You know, they kind of have stories and you know, we've the got a blind duck and like, stuff like that. There's just all like, these little places that are, um, that we could take the farm characters. Mm -hmm. um, and because a lot of them are real. Like when right, it comes that's what to I'm stories saying, about Poppy most of them are real. It's super cool. So yeah, that's something that's that something is, we, is on the radar yeah. um, when we have bandwidth. Yeah. If only we had a live webcam from all of those chickens and ducks, I'd be entertained all day. I have thought about that, but I'm gonna wait until we get a beehive because I also want a beehive cam. So we wait for the rest until we have a beehive? 
Yeah. We we, we will consider and fun. look into potentially doing some kind of live streaming of the animals. It wouldn't be 24 hours a day, but maybe like certain times, especially where we know that they're active and stuff like that, mm -hmm. certain times. <laughs> Calling the ducks and chickens ladies makes my day. That's I don't know why, we just like, yeah, yeah Especially we just with, all do yeah, that. We, gotta, we, we have confirmed um, drakes with the ducks. So I think I stopped doing that, but the chickens, they're the ladies. Peg said, okay, everyone, check your forms. Who had second week of August for Angie adding more animals to the farm? That's that's really funny. I'm pr I probably am on some like betting website somewhere or something like. <laughs> What's the over under <laughs> on, very accurate. Uh, Promise Jubilee said, oh my gosh, Angie, when those silkies lose their baby fluff and start getting in their adult feathers, they look just like baby vultures. It's hilarious, you're gonna love it. That's cool, okay. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> LED said, haha, okay, but I'd follow Angie logic as well. The logic in, that in says I should get four more ducks instead of getting rid of the one extra male duck. It'll take you to some places, I'll tell you that much. We've gotten this question a ton, and I do feel like I've answered it in previous Q&As, but we still get it all the time. Which, so, which one is it this time? <laughs> hey, Angie, I was just curious, are you still planning to build your parents a house, or are they ah. going to live with you in the house? Well, wouldn't that be fun? Nope. However, Love you guys. I feel like we've <laughs> talked about this before that in the whole process, I'm gonna give you the cliff note answer. In the whole process of looking for land and trying to figure out what we wanted to be sort of a family compound minus the cultish nature of that. <laughs> Minus was underground that, tunnels. That was actually a really hard thing to achieve unless yeah. um, unless somebody had unless a you ton of money. Yeah, unless you were building. And unless you were building. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, unless you were buying some land and building on it, uh -huh. there are lots of things that go into that, even in terms of what was it? I, now I can't remember it the Perking term. of the no, land. No, 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 it's not about perking. Covenants and Covenants. restrictions, yes. There we go. Covenants and restrictions uh, that allow you to parcel off land or not and different things like that. So, long story short, I'm not saying that they never will build a house here uh -huh. or that we will never do that. However, in the process of making all this work timing wise, what ended up working out the best was that they found a house in town, which is three miles away from us. Two. Um, two miles away from us. A, a historic it, it home. Sorry. <laughs> a historic home in the heart of downtown. It takes three minutes, you know, to get uh -huh. to our house. They're here every single day and um, yeah, so no, they don't live on our property. There's not plans right now for them to live on the property. Okay. Uh, not saying that it will never happen, but for right now, that's just not in the cards. It didn't work out that way. So hopefully that answers that question. Stop. Speaking Stop. of, Judy says, Sierra is becoming quite the farmer, architect, and builder lately. He's found his calling. Definitely Everyone not Everyone seems so happy and busy on mm -hmm. the farm. That's very kind. I, I, I have learned a ton over the last year. Um, I like how you're I have, credit for all these I, I have really just about done all of this by myself. And so thank you for recognizing I mean, I have been just You've napping. Just been in, in the the last year for me has just been one long nap. Eating bonbons, watching reality TV show. Yeah. I've really, it's been a dark period for you. I know. I've had to I'm sorry that of, I haven't helped you at all. It's okay, you know, I've, I still love you. Um, with that said, yes, I've learned a ton of stuff. Um, I am not an expert farmer. I am not an expert builder. In fact, I wouldn't even qualify as a novice, but I am trying and that's all that matters. And I'm having fun doing it. Why does it always look like my, I don't have eyebrows? Because your eyebrows are so blonde and your face is so pale that they blend in. How do I remedy that? Do I dye my eyebrows or do I get a tan? I would start with some sun, Casper. Listen, I get plenty of sun. I wear hats all the time, maybe that's why. Casper, they used to call me that in seventh grade. Really? Yeah. They called you Casper? I did. You say silkies are friendly. You've never seen Useless Farm on TikTok. She has a silky name, Brad, and yeah. he's horrible. I have. Listen. <laughs> I can't get on TikTok. That would suck every last yeah. bit of I've spare seen, time. I've I seen a reel or two of hers on Instagram before, and I believe I shared one with you because she has some kind of giant ostrich or emu bird, and we all know how I feel about ostriches. Ostrigi? Ostrigi? No. <laughs> Ostriches? That thing like charged at her and made some kind of like T-Rex growling sound. I would have judo chopped it in the neck. No, you wouldn't have. You would have pooped your pants and fallen to the floor in a ball. After I judo chopped it in the neck. 
just no. us. Okay, okay. And then it just would have had a kink in the no. neck, and no. then we would have been done. Our Never. relationship would be over. So I have seen her. I haven't seen the silky on her channel or her or her handle or whatever. But um, if what if we have a mean chicken? We don't have a mean chicken. None of our chickens do? are mean. What if we well, they grow up to be a mean one? Then we will be having chicken and dumplings for dinner that night. <laughs> Kayla asked, Angie, do you have a link to the place where you bought the flower bulbs? Yes, I will put it in the description box of this video. Um, and it's a wholesale flower place. So you do have to buy uh, like bulk, depending on what the bulb is, sometimes 25, 50, 75, or even certain ones, you have to buy a hundred of them. So it is wholesale, so you've got to buy in bulk, but it's good prices, beautiful flowers, um, and when you go on their website like you put in your zip code and stuff so they'll ship you your fall planting bulbs at the right time so for us that's like the week of christmas essentially is oh, when seriously? we'll be getting ours um and they also certain bulbs have to be refrigerated for six weeks before you put them in the ground that sort of thing and they also offer that as a service where they will refrigerate your bulbs and then ship them to you like ready to go in the ground also i heard aslan barking and that reminded me that we i asked on instagram um if you guys would like to see a video where we just kind of talk about and share oh, the different um, character traits, like what it's like to own a Great Pyrenees, mm -hmm. what it's like to own a Nigerian dwarf goat, or like whatever the different animal mm -hmm. is, just to kind of give a little bit more insight into the breeds, into what we've learned in owning them, you know, whether we would recommend them as a pet. Our and, experiences you know, that, with them so it, far. it will obviously yeah. be our opinions, not. Um, it will not be objective information. It will mm -hmm. definitely be subjective information. I mean, we'll, we'll throw in some animal facts. Well, we might. I mean, yeah. Sure. I mean, of course, there's some facts that are but just yeah, facts. What it's, but I, think, I think that's a good title for them, actually. Like, what it's like to own fill in the blank. Right. So, so, those videos are forthcoming. We've been making sure to get footage and take notes for them and stuff like that because we want them to be very thorough and not who just starting off with? haphazard. We or off? I think we'll start with yeah. Aslan oh, since we said Aslan. that. Aslan. There we go. I like it. You guys tell us in the comments who should we do next oh. after Aslan. Pigs, okay. goats, horses. The horses are fighting out there. They're fighting I know, each other's I know. This, has been, this is like watching a movie. This has been great. I mean, there's some serious pasture drama going on right now. All we've right. got pooping. We've got hay eating. We've got running around. That's it for today's Q&A video. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Good comments. Good questions. You guys leave comments on the videos. We'll address them once a month. Do that little thing again. I'm going to go get some food while you do that. Okay. No, I'm not. Say goodbye oh, and sign good, us out. Goodbye.